My name is Bella, I'm 16 years old and I live in a sailboat sailing the world with my family. You say take me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance Oh, I wish it was me Hello and welcome back! Thanks so much for being here. Previously, in last week's video is we had some time in Cabo. We had an awesome time anchored up in the crystal clear water, just hanging out off the boat and having an awesome time in the ocean. We even decided to go into a marina to go on a little surf adventure. And so that is what happened on last week's video. So we spent one night here and now we are leaving today. So we've got to go untie the lines and set sail to a new destination. So let's go. It's question time. I'm gonna answer one of your guys' questions. One that I've randomly chosen out today is, I see you wearing your hair in braids a lot. Is it just a preference or is it purposeful in some reason? I'm curious if the salt water damages your hair, skin, or nails living on the sea. Well, so for like the hair braiding thing, wearing my hair in braids, if you're new, I wear my hair in two braids a lot of the time and it's pretty much both. I like having braids in my hair, I like what I look like with braids in my hair and then I also like that it's like out of my face and if I go swimming it's not going to be all knotty and tangled and yeah I feel like I can do anything with braids in my hair. Have I noticed if like the salt water has damaged my hair, skin, nails, all of that? Honestly I don't know because it's not like all of a sudden we moved on a boat and we were always in the water more. I grew up in Australia on the Gold Coast, so surfing and being at the beach like all day, every day. I've always been in the salt water and the sun, so I really don't know. Well, I hope that answered your question. And if any of you guys have any more questions, comment down below. I'm saving them all, so I'll just answer them slowly one at a time in each video. So yeah, let's continue on with the video. 
So I'm doing washing today and you guys might be like, how do we do washing? Well, we have this little washing machine here. It's just like a washer and like this spinny thing and then we hang it out. So this is our first official stop in the Sea of Cortez. And yeah, we're doing some washing here because we've got a wash. Water's clear so we can make water with the water maker to fill the washing machine. It's sunny, beautiful, so the clothes will dry. And yeah, washing today is my job. We have had a pretty nice stop here at Frost Frylay. Frylays, maybe? I think it's called Frylays. It's somewhere in the Sea of Cortez, and um, it's time to move on to a new location. So, packing up the boat and getting ready to set sail. It's meant to be beautiful too. Here has been absolutely stunning. So, yeah, we're gonna move on to the next stop like early in the morning or today right now we don't know yet we haven't decided so we're gonna decide pretty soon We left this morning, we're currently sailing right now. We're heading somewhere, it's only like 30 miles away. And yeah, that's what we're doing right now. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next week. Bye.